guys, I'm Chronicle 6 and welcome back to Project Zomboid. Today, I'm gonna try to find an axe, right? Let's go! So, now that I'm quite a bit safe here, well, it's not really totally safe because once they get, get in here, okay, I have another door here, but I really need to block the stairs so they won't go up, all right? Now, I have secured myself here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the hardware store and get some axe, some axes and a saw and so I can chop trees. That way I can start barricading the place, right? Because I really need to do that. And I can't chop trees without an axe. Axe is so super awesome, guys. Let me see if I still have enough nails left so I can modify my baseball bat. Let me see. Build spike baseball bat so it's a bit stronger. If you watch my previous video, guys, you'll see that I have been scratch. Very minor damage. It still does. I'm still not sure if it's going to be infected. Oh my god! Yeah, they broke another window downstairs. I really need to barricade that 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 thing. So let me take some more um, ripped. Where was that? Some ripped sheets grab half of that so at least if I start you know if if a zombie bites me and I start bleeding out I can at least bandage myself all right so let me put other stuff here that I really don't need right now because I'm going to the hardware store and the hammer well I don't really need the hammer right now um, the axes they're pretty heavy okay let me see which one is better normal hiking bag 70 duffel bag 65 so the normal hiking bag is better i have a pistol right here but you don't really start shooting all over the place otherwise it's just gonna attract a ton of zombies and it's bad all right so see here still some space here okay this one is empty, so I can unequip the duffel bag. Put the duffel bag, oh, I still have nine mil rounds. Put the duffel bag right here. And this is what I do, guys. In this game, you don't have a spawn point because if you die, you die, all right? You start all over again. This one I'm gonna equip secondary and the spike baseball bat is primary. So I'm carrying another bag. All right, so please excuse the noise. That's a zombie banging his head somewhere, the wall or the door. Yeah, like I said, if you die, you have to start all over again. You lose all your skill points. Let's check my skills right now. My skills, since I'm a repairman, what I chose is, is a um, profession in the beginning. I already have two maintenance skills. Uh, two points or two levels and uh, blade maintenance blunt and maintenance blade also two and carpentry one okay actually I can no I can't build anything yet so I have to really climb through this is where I'm gonna access the thing oh my god look at this open there's you know the zombie can come out of that anytime in and out so I'm going to the hardware store because I do that in my early games uh, since I really need an axe it's very very important to have an axe you can build sort of like a stone axe uh, I think uh, by foraging and stuff like that but that type of axe is not very effective and like I said the axe is super awesome that's why this is what I do and since, like I said, it's still the initial infection, the zombies aren't that uh, much yet, so I take the advantage and loot the important stores. What I'm going to do also is go to the car repair shop and um, hope for a sledgehammer. I hope to find one because it's very very hard to find a sledgehammer in West Point, okay? I normally go and travel 
all the way to Muldrow because there is like a log uh, logging company or um, area there, a huge one, and they have like a ton of sledgehammer, but the sledgehammer is super, super heavy. And really traveling all the way there, it's super far and it's dangerous. Like it's hard to survive that kind of journey. All right, so as far as I know, it's somewhere here. Let me sneak. Yeah, it's quite hard to survive that. You have to be very, very careful. Man, no light here. Yes, this is the place, guys. This is the hardware store, so I have to be quiet. Let's hope for some access. Hatch trimmer, I don't even know if those modded things do anything at all. Okay, let's take all the glue and all those things because it's very important. Duct tape, adhesive tape. There you go, Axe 3! Oh my god, take them all, take them all. Alright, so. Box of nails, of course. Box of screws. Battery, I'm going to take that later. Glue, very important for repairing them. Okay. Okay, rope, I don't know. So let's activate this bag. Box of nails, some more. Nail guns. I was trying my private game. I found a nail gun and using nail gun nails, I it wasn't really working. I don't know if it even works. Don't know. Fishing rod, important guys. It's hard to find those things because later in the game, you need to go fishing to get food, all right? If there's nothing left, I need the saw, definitely. The saw, the log. All right. Twine and thread, I think it's also important for fishing. Uh, glue, all righty. If I find some more axes, I'm gonna take all the axes, seriously. Adhesive tape, need that. Box of nails, box of screws, not really important. Duct tape. Fishing tackle, tackle box, glue, saw, I have how many saw? Two? Yeah, that's enough for now. I'm still going to find a ton of them in garages and all of that, so I'm not sweating. Okay, I have to be careful. There's another axe, yay! The more the better. The axe is also very awesome as a weapon, but it's sometimes, you know, you don't want to waste it on zombies because um, they, you know, once you break them, you know, you have to repair it again, but it's better to just use them for chopping trees. Okay, let's find some more. Box of nails. Fishing rod. Thread. There's another axe, yoo -hoo. Put that here. I need all the axes. Glue. Okay, let's take one more saw. I really like to have a ton of reserve. Blowtorch, crowbar. I don't know, crowbar is just too heavy. I mean, I'm carrying an axe and everything, so fairly heavy load, I can take another axe. And I think I'm good for now. Box of nails some more. Duct tape. You're gonna need a ton of nails, guys, uh, because, you know, for barricading and building stuff, ton and ton of nails. All right, see what you have here. Screwdriver, I don't even know what that is for. Box of screws. Another axe. Okay, can I carry another axe? What's very heavy load? Okay, let's take the nails, duct tape. I think I'm good with axes right now. Nail gun ammo. All right, wood glue. Okay, I think that's enough for now, guys. I can go back here later on. I mean, it's gonna be difficult later once it's totally infested with hundreds or thousands of zombies. But um, 
I do hope that when the time comes, I have better weapons, so it's easier for me. There's another, like, two axes here, so I know where to get, just in case, you know. Now, if you're playing multiplayer, this is an awesome place to stay at. Because, as you know, West Point, they have the gun shop, gun store. But you don't necessarily need to go to the gun store because there's a police station. And it's right next to the place where I'm staying at. And they also have a ton of uh, uh, fire weapons. Like uh, guns and shotguns and all of that. Okay, so I think I have everything I need for now, guys. Another axe here, box of nails, glue. Extremely heavy load. Okay, I need to leave. I hope I don't encounter any zombies. Slows you down, you know, uh, the heavier the load. I'm not really going to check on anything because that's my only goal right now. Close the window or close the door. There are garbage. Yeah, garbage bag. Super important, guys. The small one, I don't really think that it's working. So I just take the regular garbage bag. So let's sneak. And I'll get back to you once I'm home. Alrighty. As you can see here, guys, that's the police station. And I'm definitely going to go in there before it's uh, fully zombie infested. Alright. To get all the guns and ammo that I can get. I also have walkie talkies and stuff, but I uh, definitely don't need them. Because I'm playing a solo game, alright? I don't need to walkie-talkie some myself. So, I think this one is uh, where I'm staying at. Let me see. Yep. You see? The, the police station is right over here. This is uh, another house or office. And this is the building where I'm staying at. Now, like I said, uh, the zombies will always try to destroy everything. Access the ground floor via windows or broken doors and stuff. That's why my first, always first goal is to make um, sheet rope so I can access it from, see there are zombies inside, from here. Alright. Now I'm going to put all the axes and everything here. Just in case I die, I still know, you know, I still have all of them. Let's go, put them here. And I'm all wet right now. But I think it doesn't really bother me much. Alright guys, so I need to eat and drink something. Uh, okay. Let's eat something. I'm gonna eat the fresh uh, stuff first. Because they rot. Alright. Eat some more apple. Fed. It's not very well fed. I like to eat the fresh stuff fruits. Okay, now let's drink. Alright, so I'm ready to go and chop some trees. Climb through. Let's go guys. Time to barricade this place here. Otherwise they're just gonna... They're gonna be bugging me all the time. So let's equip primary what's in here let me hold that right equip in both hands all right because we're not looting anyways Now it's a very heavy load. I'm going to transfer the logs over here so it's not so far. I have to saw them to make wood planks. Okay. Okay, just drop them here. Just super heavy. Drop. What the fuck? No! Not that. Stop! Damn it. 
See, that's what I'm saying if you make a mistake. Because everything is so tiny, you know, and you don't really see. It's not accurate if you don't. The navigation of this game really needs a ton of improvement for sure. I wish they do that in the future because the UI is not really very <laughs> super friendly. Okay, sorry to say that, but it is. I mean, if it's similar to Sims, they can do the the user interface a bit similar like that also, which is more intuitive and easier to use, right? Okay, look at this zombie. What are you doing with my logs? Okay. Hope this zombie doesn't bite me. Is it dead? Yeah, one hit. Glasses, lipstick, whoa, survival axe. Alrighty. Can I wear this? Equip on hands. Oh, alright. Maybe it's better. I don't even know. So let's take the log. I'm gonna clean up the place later also, guys. All the corpses that are laying all over the place. I have to collect them in one area and burn them. But I'll do that later. Okay, first things first is barricading here. That's the most important thing. It's 8.50 in the morning, I think. Okay, drop. Drowsy. I'm getting tired now, getting sleepy. I need to rest soon. Alright, before I go to rest, let me barricade a little bit here so I have a bit of work done. I'm just going to do this window first. Okay, drop this. Now I'm going to saw them. There's a maximum of planks that you can carry. As far as I know, it's six. I don't know, eight? Maybe also, but it depends on how strong you are, maybe. But it's the very, very max, like you're pushing it to the limit. It's gonna break you. Let me see my health situation. Dirty bandage. Remove. Let me change the bandage. All right, we got to check that also in between. So what's going on? I have planks here. Let me take um, half. Three, four, five, six. All right, that should be enough. I'm going to barricade this one first. What the fuck? Damn it. To go inside. Why can't I barricade? Oh, because I don't have. Oh my god, I need my equipments. I need the hammer and the nails. Damn it. Alright. Uh, I have the nails. Where's my hammer? Fucking shit. Okay, barricade. So it's like four all in all, and you barricade it from the outside and also the inside, so it really holds. 
So how many? I have two. Let me get some more. Let me grab four more. So I have six. Well, let's see if I can carry eight. All right. Okay, that's extremely heavy load already. There's one more here. Ooh, there's a zombie right there. Let me see, can I barricade? to sleep soon okay and one more I need to barricade the broken window over here and then I'll go to sleep okay grab half or right, just four all right let me barricade this one there's another window right there damn it They destroyed the sheet here. I put a sheet right there. I thought. I want to close down this one. Drowsy, soaking. Uh oh. How many? God damn it. <laughs> Dead. Dog tag, golf club, skirt, flashlight. Oh, I'm gonna loot that later. See how many planks are left? I can still cover up one. Okay, grab half. All right, that's four. So I'm gonna cover up this one. Alrighty, so it's really time for me to go to sleep and rest and I'm soaking wet, which is bad. Don't want to get sick. Let me see, do I have a towel here? Uh, I can't, I don't even know what they are for. There's like uh, the problem with using mods is like you get a ton of objects and stuff, but uh, most of them don't really do nothing. You know, they don't have any use at all. So. It's just a clutter. So let me dry myself. Okay, I'm just wet. I still need some more for drying myself, but there's nothing in here anymore. I think, yeah, there's nothing here. So whatever. I hope I don't die while I sleep because that's mostly when I get the fever. But anyways, guys, let me see. I go to sleep. All right, 10 hours. So while I'm sleeping, guys, I'm going to end the episode here and I'll see you in the next episode. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. I'm Chronicle 6. Bye-bye.